This is most certainly worth documenting. I don't know if I've posted the videos I took previously of this kale. For those of you who grow kale, you might find that the stalk becomes very tall and thin. And as you harvest the kale from the bottom, it keeps growing off of the top. At some point, it becomes quite unwieldy. Our kale was reaching up to the top of this brick and it was just sort of leaning over. You can see that it's kind of leaning right now. So we just decided to cut off the tops. This one, we had a fair amount of confidence that it would grow back because when trimming it or when harvesting some kale, my son had cut off pretty much all of the leaves at the very tippy top right here. And then we started, there was a new growth that started. So we knew that if we cut right here, this growth, which had already been somewhat mature, would continue. So we were comfortable about cutting this here, and you can see where there are a lot of little leaves that are coming out. With this one, up until even this morning, I thought, oh, we're probably going to have to just get rid of it, pull it out or something, but look what I am seeing. Isn't that beautiful? A little bit of green, a teeny tiny bit of green that will hopefully lead to more kale. So that worked. Now, oh, and this might even be another one coming up here. So it's still tall, right? I wanted to make sure that this green part was still in the formula because I didn't know if the woody part would be able to grow new branches, new uh, leaves. So you can see here in this one, it's green almost all the way up. So this, that might be an experiment for another day, but first we want to kind of work on this and see how this works. And then maybe we can try to force the growth back down. Or not. But we do love our kale. And this, this plant, these were two of a six pack that survived and they've given us a lot of kale. They've also given the cabbage worms a lot of food and possibly even the snails. But if you were thinking about trimming your kale, Rest assured that you can cut off the top and it will still grow. It just might take a little while. Okay? Ta da! All right, kale update. Yesterday I noticed that there's been some activity on video I planted when these kale plants were just really super tiny. So, this is what happens to kale two years later because what we were doing on this one is we were trying to get address the aphids problem and we did a lot of trimming and then that encouraged growth around the top. So I have been wondering if we should um, cut it back quite a bit because to encourage a shorter plant because I don't think this can be very good for it. And look here, there's this one leaf that's coming out so I think if we cut it back to right around here, it'll just get all big and bushy and then grow out in all directions, which would be kind of fun. And then alleviate the weight problem that's happening here. Of course, there is um, also the possibility that if we did that, it wouldn't grow. But look, see, we have more growth happening here. So I think that would happen. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. There's more growth happening here, here, here. I think that would work, but whether we actually will do it leaves to be seen. And hey, we have an owl. Cool.